Well, almost 30,000 employment seekers applied at the Department of Labor's job fair. The digital savvy have been finding opportunities online in their own time and even right at home. Joining us is freelancer Vice President for Growth, Willix Halen, to talk about the latest trends in online jobs. Hello, good morning, Willix. Good morning. Now, you just released your 2015 report, but tell us first, how much has this freelance community grown in the past year? It's grown significantly, especially in the Southeast Asia country, you know. Um, you know freelancing has has the, the, the opportunity of freelancing and the benefit of freelancing, you know, ha has essentially taken up, and you know, peop and, and and there's there's even a time when um, you know you 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 essentially get more money from freelancing than actually working full time, especially in Asian countries. Now, in your report, you you showed there the top trending jobs right now that has seen significant growth from yeah. 2014 to 2015. What was the top one? Um, yeah, obviously still on the website related projects so website design logo design app development and and data entry and internet marketing are, are the top five jobs now there's also interesting that you already looked at delivery uh, online delivery as also yep. one of the things that has grown significantly yep. but delivering involves you know it's not just something you can do from your home it actually involves someone actually going through these different businesses yep. how did that work well and, as, and uh, this is essentially what we're good at which is liquidity of, of, of freelancing and 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 you know and and yeah and it's still a big challenge for us because you need to have deliveries in in multiple geographics and and you know, unlike the global sort of sort of website projects and stuff like that where you could just essentially hire anyone from developed countries now you also have instagram instagram mm. related posts as something that is always a big thing that mm. came in 2015 how has that um boomed given the digital marketing development yep. and, right and, and, and in, in digital marketing especially where, where i specialize in new channels always emerge and then the, you know, and, and emerge at such a significant pace and it would die off you know, in, the, in, in such a significant pace as well, and Instagram and Snapchat and those channels have, have grown significantly this year. And now you've also, and related to that, you also have blogs and mm. online writing, as you also see as a, a one thing that has grown significantly yep. as well. And and then uh, um, and again, this is the same channel that, that people have start sort of looking at it from how do you acquire people to, to visit your website and blogging you know, and content strategy has become one of the, one of the major channels as well to, to do so has been a big source of revenue for even millennials right that's now. That's right, absolutely. And, and there's a lot of money in, in, in content strategy and so on, especially in Australia, Silicon Valley. And, 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 and they would go on and hire people and content writers from, from Southeast Asia, from India, from Pakistan to, to essentially do all of that. How about the Philippines? Like this is a, very, it is a global trend that you yep. included in your report. But how about the Philippines? What is the growing trend here? It, it follows a very, very similar trend to, to the freelancers from outside Philippines, you know, where, where again, there are jobs on digital marketing, internet marketing, content, uh, and, and, web, and, and programming, and, and logo design, and so on. Mm -hmm. Do you see this continuing in 2016, or do you see a new trend emerging? No, I, I see I see the same sort of uh, trend emerging. But obviously, you know, in, in tech, you know, things things could just change in the next three months or so because we're moving at such a huge pace. But but freelancing has caught up. I um, mean, even in, in big enterprises such as NASA, NASA actually uses us to to to, to build watches for the astronauts and and to build 3D modelings for, for, for the robonauts that they like put they on the space. They did some crowdsourcing that's for right, that. That's right, and they're doing some logo redesign as well through freelancers uh, in freelancer.com platform. Now, Alex, you mentioned earlier that sometimes um, they could even earn more doing online than yep. you know the usual brick and mortar companies. Right. How, do you, how has this the wages, how has it developed, or not, not wages rather, their fees yep. that they can get from online, how has it developed with you? Do you see it going up, increasing significantly? Yes, I um, mean, yeah, just to give you an overview of what's happening right now, uh, a project usually takes about three to four days to complete, and, and, and usually on average, a project would cost about you know, 150 to 200 dollars USD, which is yeah. You know, if you do two or three, you know, it's usually more than what, what the average full-time job looks like in, in Philippines or Indonesia and so on. Or more than the minimum wage. Yeah. And do you see these freelancers from the Philippines also enjoying that same advantage? Yes, yes. And, and not just that, you know, they could essentially work remotely. They could essentially work at the time that they want. So, so, so that becomes such a huge attraction for, for the freelancers in Philippines especially. A new exciting industry. Thank you yeah, so absolutely. much, Alex, for joining us. Thank you for morning. having me. Cheers.